Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Beauty Beacons. Today we're going to talk about Sophia Loren. Sophia Loren was an Italian actress in the 50s and 60s of the 20th century and she was absolutely gorgeous. She started acting at a pretty young age, I believe she was uh, 14, 15 when she started acting and all throughout the 50s she had a booming career in Italy. In the late 50s she got discovered by Hollywood and started acting in international movies, Hollywood movies and became really really popular in America as well. And not only was she very beautiful and very popular, she was actually a really good actress as well. Sophia Loren was the first artist to win an Oscar for an international acting performance that had never happened before. Now, many more awards followed, she had loads of awards on her name and she was indeed one of the most popular actresses worldwide of the 60s. So she started acting a lot less when she had children in the 70s, but by that time she was already firmly established as a beauty beacon. So today I'm going to recreate one of her iconic looks. This is her look from, I'd say, the early 60s, um, or maybe all throughout the 60s. She had this very iconic, typical way of wearing eyeliner with kind of like a double wing joining at the top. Very typical and unique. So I'm going to recreate that and then a pretty little updo, very high of course, because we are doing the 60s after all. So let's start with the makeup first. So to begin the makeup, I'm going to start by applying a base of foundation. And I'm going to apply quite a thick layer of foundation. This is Hollywood's golden era we were talking about and her foundation was applied heavily. So don't be afraid to put on a good layer and then I'm going to go over with concealer underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles and go for a flawless finish. So when everything is blended in very well, I'm going to go over with a translucent powder to powder everything down, make it matte and make sure that it stays and doesn't go anywhere. And this is also to prepare my skin for the next layer that's going on and this is going to be contour powder. Sophia Lauren has some amazing cheekbones and I'm going to try and kind of fix those with a little bit of contour powder. So I'm going to take this brown contour powder that I have and I'm going to start by sculpting out my cheekbones. So I'm going to start light and make it heavier and heavier and heavier as I go, just building up those layers and don't be afraid to go really heavy on this. So when my cheekbones are well and truly contoured, I'm going to apply a little bit of that powder on my chin as well. I have a little bit of a pointy chin, Sophia Lauren's face is a little bit more rectangular, so I'm going to kind of try and flatten the bottom of my face out a little bit, again using this contour powder. Okay, moving on to the eyes. I'm going to start with the eyebrows here and I am going to take this clear eyebrow gel and just brush my eyebrows upwards and kind of sideways. I looked at loads of her pictures and her eyebrows never really seem filled in. In fact, her eyebrows look quite light compared to her hair color, so I'm not going to fill in my eyebrows, but her eyebrows are always very well groomed and actually often combed upwards. So I'm just going to do that to my eyebrows as well. Then I'm going to prep my eyelids with some skin colored eyeshadow and this is just one or two shades lighter than my natural skin tone. And then it's time for that amazing winged liner. So I'm going to take a liquid eyeliner and start in the inner corner of my eye and make this gorgeous cat eye. And I'm going to take this wing out pretty far. This was a pretty heavy liner look. And make sure to not close off the outer edge of your eye. So keep the liner above your lash line. Because the next step is going to be white eyeliner. I'm going to take a white eyeliner pencil and I'm going to fill in the little space underneath that wing that I just drew. And then I'm also going to take this white eyeliner and apply it all over my waterline. So then I'm going back with my liquid eyeliner and I'm going to connect the line, that wing that I just made, to my lower lash line. And this is going to create a little white triangle in the middle. And this is the typical kind of Sophia Lauren eyeliner style. So I'm going to continue that line all the way to my inner corner and even connect it in my inner corner. And then I'm going to apply loads of mascara on my top and bottom lashes. And that's the eye makeup done. So moving on to the lips, Sophia Lauren has very full luscious lips. So I'm going to kind of overdraw mine with some nude lip pencil. And I'm going to overdraw more on the bottom lip than the top one. So I'm just kind of lining outside of my natural lip line here. And then when my lip liner is done, I'm going to fill in my lips with this nude lipstick. And then the very last thing I'm going to do is take a little bit more of that contour powder that I used in the beginning and apply this right underneath my lip liner. This is going to give the effect of a shadow underneath my lip, which is automatically going to make my lip look plumper and fuller. 
and there is the Sophia Lauren makeup done. So moving on to the hair, I just started by spraying some dry shampoo pretty much on just the half of my hair that's closest to my scalp and this is going to give a little bit of texture, help my hair stick to something, give it a little bit more grip because the next thing I'm going to do is backcomb it. I'm going to start on the top of my crown and I'm going to start just backcombing this. Make it sky high, we're in the 60s. <laughs> so then backcomb all the hair from that section forward until I reach my hairline. And then I'm going to pull everything back into a ponytail and I'm going to make sure that I leave it as high and airy as possible. So just do this very loosely and you can pull a lot tighter at the back than at the front because in the back you do want it to be close to your head and in the front you want it to be giant poofy. And then Sophia Lauren often has her hair kind of swooped back and then kind of romantically falling down so don't worry about you being too precise with this, you can leave it a little bit messy, it doesn't matter. So when I've swooped my hair back nicely I'm going to tie it off with a hair elastic. And I just sprayed this with some hairspray to make sure that it stays for now. And then with the back hair, I'm just going to twist this very loosely and make a very loose cinnamon bun. Just your simple basic bun. And that's the Sophia Lauren hair done. And that's all that I have for you today. So I want to thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more beauty beacons. Because there's more coming. And don't forget to leave your comments down below for historical beauty icons that you would like me to recreate the looks of in coming episodes. So I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!